There is snow in the forecast. It's not on the radar yet, though, Carol. We're looking at showers and dying thunderstorms. Uh, the one area of thunderstorms has really died very, very quickly, although there are moderate showers still in this area from Fond du Lac down into Dodge County, across Washington County, Ozaki County, and Sheboygan County. Second area of storms that were over the Mississippi River dying out fast. That's because it's running into cooler air, that fog laden air also. And then the area of powerful storms still to our south, those will skim across maybe Kenosha County in about an hour uh, from now. And that is about it. Watch the movement on these storms and watch how the lightning just disappears as it rolls into the cooler, more stable air. And again, any of the storms out to the west, no more lightning to find there. Some just scattered light rain showers well out to the west. So it's mostly rain overnight tonight. I'll add in the clouds and you can see we're not going to break up any clouds for a while. They're going to stick around and we do have that winter weather advisory for tomorrow. It starts at six o'clock in the morning, runs till six o'clock tomorrow evening from Milwaukee, Waukesha all the way out to Jefferson Dane and to the north at Tornado Watch still in effect in many locations from Chicago to the south till four o'clock in uh, the morning. The dense fog advisory that I mentioned earlier, that's still in effect to our north till midnight tonight. How much snow is going to fall tomorrow with the winter weather advisory? It looks like most of the area gets around three inches, somewhere in that two to four inch range, one to two from Racine Kenosha down to Walworth County and maybe Fond du Lac for uh, inches plus in the northern part of that county. You can see the cold air amassing to our north 29 International Falls, 31 Fargo, 16 Minot. That'll be slowly moving in behind this storm system. Our ter current temperatures already in the 30s to the north with 38 Beaver Dam in Port Washington and Sheboygan, 43 in Waukesha and also Milwaukee still holding at 50. You can see that warm front though is sliding quickly to the south. You see it here on our future forecast models. Now watch the showers start to pretty much dissipate or be out of the picture by about midnight tonight. Get a little break towards the morning hours. Still a little mix of rain and snow at seven o'clock by the middle of the day. That's when the snow comes down and by the evening hours it's out of the picture. Now watch an Alberta Clipper that comes in from the northwest and on Thursday we could see an isolated snow shower, maybe a half an inch. That would be about it. So 35 overnight tonight, rain and thunderstorms early. They're starting to move out of the picture. Fog to our north and we cool down to 35 by daybreak. 36 is your high tomorrow with a morning uh, mix of rain, snow changing over to snow, probably by nine or 10 o'clock in the morning on strong northwest winds and 36 degrees. And right on into Thursday, a few snow showers, mostly cloudy and 33 degrees. Here's your Storm Team 4 seven day forecast on Friday. Some sunshine, 30 degrees, and here comes another warm up. On Saturday, 42 degrees, sunshine, and then sunny and 51 into Sunday, still at 54 with rain on Monday. 